This story is called The Dragonfly's Tale. Up on a hill there was a village with houses built close together and even upon each other like a great honeycomb. The village was happy and prosperous for the maidens of the white and yellow corn watched over it. In the spring they brought the warm winds that melted the snow. In the summer they sent the gentle rains that watered the corn fields. With their blessings, the corn grew tall and strong. The people had plenty to eat and their storerooms were spilling over with all the corn they had gathered. The chief of this village, seeing all this plenty, did not mind how much food was wasted. He would pile his plate high with food at mealtimes and then throw it away when he was too full to finish it. His people thought that their chief must know the right way to behave. And soon everyone was doing the same. When the corn maidens heard what was happening, they came to see for themselves. First, they covered up their shining robes with ragged dirty clothes and disguised their lovely faces with wrinkles and spots. Looking like the poorest, most wretched beggar women, they crept into the village. When they arrived, they saw piles of food everywhere, baskets full of dough, huge stacks of steaming cakes, mounds of bread. There was so much that it spilled out of windows and sat on the roofs. A little boy and his sister sat eating corn cakes with honey. When they saw the poor women, they offered them their own food. But the chief happened to be walking by and grabbed it before the women could. Don't waste your food on beggars, he said sternly. The corn maidens were most unhappy. Their abundant blessings had not resulted in kindness and gratitude growing in the hearts of their people. They would have to take away their gifts and hope that the villagers learned from their loss. In the night, the seed eaters came. Hungry mice, insects and birds who picked up every crumb and silently stole away the corn from the storerooms. The next morning, the people were astonished to find their great bounty reduced by more than half. But they were sure they would have another fine harvest to replace it. That winter was long. And when the warm winds finally melted the snow, no rain came to bless the earth. The corn plants could not grow and there was no harvest. Finally, the chief had to admit that they were about to starve and that they must ask their neighbors for help. They packed up their belongings and went out to beg for their food. In their haste, they forgot the young boy and girl and left them behind, sleeping by the hearth. When the boy awoke to an empty village, he was frightened at first. But he knew he had to be brave and take care of himself and his sister. So he made a toy to console her. He took corn husks, shaped, tied and painted them and made a beautiful dragonfly. When the little girl woke, she was delighted with her new toy and played with it all day. That night, she asked it to fly away and find them some food. The dragonfly at once came to life and flew off into the night. It went straight to the corn maidens and told them the whole story. 
we must help the two little ones, they said. Once they offered us food, now their kindness shall be repaid. When the dragonfly came back to the children, it found them sleeping in a house filled with baskets of corn and beans and squash. The children awoke and thanked the dragonfly for its help. Another winter passed and spring came. The children took from their stores and went into the fields to plant corn. They asked the corn maidens to bless their work and bring them a good harvest. That night the rain fell and in the morning the little plants were already poking up through the earth. They seemed to grow faster than ever before, soon bearing heavy years of corn. The children ate their fill and went to sleep. While they slept, the people of the village returned to try again to plant their fields and regain the favour of the corn maidens. They found the fields already full of tall green plants, heavy with ripe corn. The chief saw the children's was they who had been worthy of this blessing. He said to the people, Let us learn from these wise children to always honour the corn maidens and respect their gifts. From then on, the people took care to thank the corn maidens for all their blessings, to care for the abundance they received and to give of it generously to anyone in need. You were listening to Tosuno by Sneha.